Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. But you gotta do what, sis? I'm gonna learn my word. You I'm gotta a, repent. I'm a, I'm a work in process every day. We all are, sis, yes, but guess yes, what? Yes. You hearing the commandments, is that hard for you to keep? Is it hard for me to keep? Is it hard for you to keep? I would say it's, it's, it's difficult, but it can be done. Keeping your head up the right color? No. That's hard? No, you said keeping the commandments. I'm, I'm starting with hair. the ones I just read to you about not having blonde hair. It's that hard to do. So you can, that's easy. Don't worry about anything else. When you hear the first commandment, you say, I can do that. That's easy. Let me put my hair back the way God gave it to me. That's you. right. Let me put on a modest dress like God said. That's you right. You got to start with yourself first. Stop worrying about everybody else. Read that. Chapter 20 and verse 2. Hey, sis, did you know according to the Bible we're the people of Moses? Yes. You did? What's your nationality? What's my nationality? Yes. You say you know you're the people of Moses. I'm, I'm, I'm from one of the 12 tribes. Now, which well, you don't know which one? No. Okay, cool. So now that you know you're an Israelite, what is it that God wants you to do? Follow the word of his word. Okay, cool. I got you. Mm -hmm. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Because we was in slavery. Watch this, read. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's the first commandment, bro. You in the Islam, you got another God before the Most High God. You understand that, right? And the Bible says we should not bow down to any what? Stones, any images. That's what you're doing. So we teaching you this so you can come back to keep God's commandments as the Israelites. Now, these young men, don't go nowhere. Everybody, I'm, did you, did you, do you know you're an Israelite? Yeah. Okay, but do you know your nationality? So what's your nationality? You're an Israelite, right? All right, cool. Now, I want to show these young men right here. Give me revelations. These two young men. Let me put them down. Let me bring them right here right quick. I want to show them something. We're going to do a process of elimination. Now, one of the, I got you, bro. You got the, you got the flyer, right? I got the address and everything. I told Come visit us this Saturday, bro. I'm, I'm going to be looking for you. Start at 10 o'clock. The doors open at 10. Now, you say this Jesus, right? You too? Give me that in Revelations real quick. Who is this? So who is this? Okay, so who, why, who you say this is right here? This white man right here. Who is that? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So now, okay, y'all got me confused. So y'all, y'all know. Hold on, sis. Hey, sister. Sister. Come here real quick. I want to show you. Give me the round of 2025. Remember, the Bible says, now Israel, what do the Lord require of us, right? What do God want us to do? You say follow the word, right? And keep his laws, right? You know God's laws? You know a law that I'm looking at you that you're breaking? You do. Huh? I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm looking at you breaking the commandments. Do you know? I'm asking you. I'm trying to help you out. I know what they like to That's cool. What else? I'm looking at your appearance. All right, cool. Watch this. Give me that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. That is only to help you out, sis. It's up to you to keep the commandments. You understand? I know. It's too much plans and money. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a woman garment that a man should not wear is what? Like dress. So a man's garment that a woman should wear is what? Pants. pants. All right, now give me first Timothy 2 and 9. Now you know, you wear pants, right? The biggest 13. Yeah, you wear pants, right? So now you got to know, you know you you, you got to do what, sis? Get put on the what? Put on a dress, sis. And this is what type of dress you should wear. The book of First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So not one of them tight dresses where every time you walk, you got to pull it down. A modest dress, it should come down. Really, it should come to your ankles. You understand that? And not, not tight where they can see your shape. Like now, we can see your shape. You understand that? So you enticing a man. 
and we should not do that as a people. You understand? Now, give me Leviticus 13. The Bible says that you should wear what? Modest clothes, sis. You know what modesty is, right? To be shy, to don't want to be seen. But if you got on a tight dress or you walking around with legs and, and Negroes can see your behind, guess what? They own you. That's right. You're not modest. You, you're not. Exactly, sis. So in order to, to stop wearing what you're wearing now, you got to have discipline, sis. And the Bible Both teaches us discipline. Us. Exactly. Self-control is discipline. But you're not supposed to walk out here like that because guess what? Negroes that don't know God's commandments is going to lust after you. That's right. And that shouldn't happen. You understand? The Bible says if a man look on a woman to lust after her, he committed adultery. And you being your brother's keeper, you should be like, you know what? Let me make sure I'm being modest so brothers ain't looking at me like that. Yeah, we all got to get ourselves together. But guess what? But guess what, sis? You got to start with yourself first. Don't worry about everybody else. Get yourself right first. You understand that? Now read this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13 and verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. A yellow thin hair is talking about blonde hair. The Lord says a yellow thin hair or blonde hair is a plague. Read. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. To have blonde hair is what? Unclean. So it's God that give us blonde hair. He gave, right. us, he gave us woolly hair. You understand that? Not blonde street hair. The plague was put upon the white man. And our people want to be like the white man or the white woman. You're not supposed to wear blonde hair, sis. You understand what the Bible says? So guess what, sis? You got to get yourself together. You say what? I said, I'm going to learn as I am, and I'm going to forgive. Give me that instruction 17. You're right, but you got to do what, sis? I'm going to learn my word. You got to repent. I'm going to work the process every day. We all are, sis, but guess what? You hearing the commandments, is that hard for you to keep? Is it hard for me? Is it hard for you to keep? I would say it's, it's, it's difficult, but it can be done. But keeping your hair the right color? No. That's hard? No, you said keeping the commandments. You I'm, I'm starting with the ones I just read to you about not having blonde hair. It's that hard to do. So you can, that's easy. Don't worry about anything else. When you hear the first commandment, you say, I can do that. That's easy. Let me put my hair back the way God gave it to me. That's you. right. Let me put on a modest dress like God said. That's you right. You got to start with yourself. First, stop worrying about everybody else. Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 25. Read verse 24. But unto them that repent, he granted them return. So yeah, you can't get yourself right, sis. You can't get yourself right, bro. We all made mistakes. But God says unto them that repent, he, he allow you to come back and keep the commandments. That's right. So you got the opportunity right now, sis, to keep God's commandments. You got the opportunity right now, brother, to keep God's laws. So is you, bro. So do you, bro. We all broke God's commandments, and he put us in slavery. But God is calling us back. Read that again. But unto them that repent, he granted them return. He granted, he allowed them to come back if we repent. What does it mean to repent, bro? To realize the to realize you're wrong, say you're sorry, and then do what? So you well, first off, what are you wrong for? Meaning what though? Hey sis, you got a flyer, right? Okay, so what you say? Do your own thing. I want something out of the Bible. What did we break? What did we do wrong? Well, doing our own thing was what, bro? You know? Say it again. I think we broke every law. We broke all the laws of God. We broke all God's laws. So now what? We gotta learn the laws and keep them. Cause you know you're an Israelite, right? What do God say when you bring when we teach in the Bible about having your hair covered? So why you got your hair covered? Let's read that law real quick. Let's read that law. All praise to the most high. That's repentance. It's easy. It's not hard. I'll pray. I'm still read the law real quick. Hey sis, how you doing? Read that. The book of First Corinthians, chapter eleven and verse four. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Prophesying meaning either you listening to the Bible being read or you're reading it yourself. Okay. Or you're reading it yourself. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered 
dishonoreth his head. The head is who? For the man. Christ. Christ is our head. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!